Hi friends. Welcome to our channel Akaldea Homes. This channel is all about the latest interior design and ideas. So like this video, share and subscribe my channel. Thanks you for supporting. A patio is a great way to add extra living space and increase your home's value. Find patio design inspiration and practical tips from professional builders on how to create the backyard of your dreams. Patios can be whatever you dream up, from grand gathering spaces to intimate backyard escapes, and they can be nearly any shape, size, color or pattern you can imagine. There are a variety of materials to choose from when it comes to building patios. Concrete is often the least expensive and most versatile because it can be dyed and formed into a myriad of colors and shapes. Concrete pavers are available in a wide variety of shapes and sizes, from large slabs to cobblestone looking blocks. Brick is popular for patios because it can also be used for pathways and retaining walls, and it can be an inexpensive DIY option. Flagstone is basically a generic term for sedimentary stone. The least expensive type of flagstone available to you will likely depend on where you live and what's mined in your region of the country. Slate and bluestone are primarily found in the northeast, while travertine, quartzite, limestone and basalt come from the midwest and mountain west. And as you might guess, sandstone comes from the desert regions of the southwest. You can get varieties of flagstone that are not from your region, but the cost will likely be more than the locally sourced material. If you're wanting a tile patio, the material you choose will depend on your climate and environment. Tile made from granite and porcelain can withstand temperature extremes from brutally hot summers and below zero winters. But they are non-porous, meaning they won't absorb water. So if your yard is prone to flooding, these materials may not be right for you. Slate, travertine, and limestone are softer than granite and porcelain, so they will probably need to be sealed often to prevent cracking if you live in an area with extreme weather. However, too much sealing can make these tiles very slippery when wet so they are not recommended for pool areas. Loose material, often just called gravel, can be made of decomposed granite, crushed stone or an aggregate of various stones. Gravel is popular choice around fire pits and for walkways. It is DIY and budget friendly. Gravel is a smart choice for areas that are prone to flooding and heavy rains as it won't prevent the ground from absorbing the water. Private patio. This gravel lined outdoor seating area is small on space but big on style. The high privacy fence and overhead string lights create a sense of seclusion and coziness. Classic Saltillo terracotta tile. Earthy terracotta patio tiles work perfectly with the Mediterranean style of this stucco house. The golden wood trim mixed with cobalt blue accessories and climbing vines also help create the lively Spanish-inspired dining area. Outdoor dining, plus art. You love art indoors, so why not try it outside? This appealing outdoor scene features flagstones, edged in grass, casual wicker and wood chairs around the cafe table. A large painting propped up on the console table breaks up the large expanse of fence and adds a charming touch of ambiance. Modern and practical. Concrete, slabs surrounded by river rock and decomposed, granite create landing pads for colorful modern furnishings. The river rock and granite are a smart choice if your yard is prone to flooding because they will not prevent the ground from absorbing the rainwater. Siding, plus patio symmetry. This built in backyard patio was extended onto the lawn with large concrete blocks. The grass lines in between the pavers pair beautifully with the lines in the board and batten, siding in the pergola-style overhang. Under the bistro lights. 
The use of multiple substrates underfoot helps define the different sections of this yard. In this Minneapolis backyard, pea gravel sits underneath the dining area while the main seating area is covered in flagstone pavers. The pavers extend around the side of the yard to seamlessly lead to the front of the house. Patio plus putting green. A. Putting green and fire pit make this mountainside yard a deluxe getaway. The surrounding patio is made of uniform squares and rectangles, while the patio under the fire pit is comprised of freeform shaped tile for a more organic look. Long, on style. Even, a small yard can have a grand patio, for relaxing and entertaining. This, narrow space provides plenty, of function as well as style with its banquet-sized dining table, lounge chairs by the portable heater, and a hammock made for napping. Builder's tip. Interlocking stones are, far stronger than concrete and are earthquake resistant, plus they are easy to remove, and replace should something, go wrong underneath the patio. Dave Garcia, owner of San Francisco-based Paver Pro, explains, if you have a pipe that bursts underneath, you could pull the stones out, fix the pipe and then place everything back the way it was, he says. It won't look patched. With regular concrete, you'll never match it. All the amenities included. Slate tile anchors this gorgeous patio with its cozy pergola-covered seating area, cooking area, swim spa and large, dining table. A small wood deck with slats, run on a diagonal creates, a nice transition between the patio and pool. Destination. Fire pit. This, patio leads to an inviting fire pit surrounded, by built-in benches and covered, with a wood privacy wall and canopy. A large cherry tree also shades, the area while the layers of landscaping, provide color and texture. The large concrete patio, slabs laid in a staggered pattern, are framed by sun-tolerant moss. Intimate courtyard setting. Lush, landscaping surrounds the courtyard of this, stately brick home while, the sandy colored pavers ground the space. A quaint bistro table, and chairs make this the perfect spot, for a sophisticated breakfast, or an afternoon tea. Builder's tip. Although choices seem endless, Concrete is the most common, and surprisingly versatile patio flooring option, according to Dave Garcia, owner of San Francisco-based, Paver Pro. Port concrete can be shaped into just about, any pattern and color. It can be swirled and scored, tinted a subtle, or bold color, shaped into patterns or even formed, into stone-like shapes. Even, a plain cement slab, can be dressed up with a stain. If you liked our video today, don't forget to like share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.